948 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it. We have the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, here on Pi Day. We talked about Pi Day. Go ahead and explain yeah, what it yeah. is. Well, Pi is just the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Yeah, which okay. equals? 3.1415. And since we're in the 9 o'clock hour, we can add a 9 to it. And mm -hmm. I think before we get it to 2.6. Yep, and we got it down to the second, actually. Nice. That's how good we are. Okay, so <laughs> the cool thing about... Um, this is we could actually measure that out, do a little experiment here. I've put down markers at one foot intervals and at 3.1 foot intervals on this rail. All right. And if I roll this without slipping it, we can just kind of quickly verify that the circumference is. It'll end right on 3. it. 3.145, look Bingo. at that. Bingo. Nice. So as a kid, I always wondered though, when thinking about circles and doing that geometry sort of stuff, weird sort of question, Tony, why are manhole covers round? Hmm. That is a good question. I don't know. Okay. Because, you know, you could equally as well make a manhole cover that's a triangle, too, right? <laughs> sure, Why not? Sure. So th the difference here is that a circle, I'll have you put this in this little gauge here. Okay. A circle, by definition, has a constant diameter. So no matter how you turn that thing, it's always going to touch both side rails. Okay? Curve of constant width. Go ahead and pull that out. We're going to drop in the triangle now. And if you drop that straight down, okay, it has a one foot diameter there and a oh, less reach. than one foot width right here. Yeah. So if this was a manhole cover, boom, it's gonna fall right through. All right. Not a good situation. Triangle man hates particle <clears throat> man, by the way. Yes. <laughs> now, we can take this triangle uh -huh. and apply a little mathematics to it to turn it into something called a Rouleau triangle. All okay? right. From each point, if we sweep out an arc of a circle, Pop this in your measuring device over so there. So Rouleau, like as in rolling? <laughs> this guy's name. Oh, okay. He, uh, came up with the <laughs> I'm going to go this way. This might be that's the nice, easiest, like fine. a shield. And you know what? Go ahead and uh, spin it. Get it all the way down, okay. all three parts here. It's, it's in there. Tricky. It's in there. It's wedged. I'll stop. And, and spin. Bit. And just rotate spin it. it. Yeah. And it always rotates now Let equally. Me. Let me get in there for you. Yeah. Now, there we go. no matter how you rotate that, it's always going to touch both sides. That's why It has a constant <laughs> width. Okay. Okay. So. At the Science Center, you know, we got a 3D printer. So I printed out some of these little shapes, these Rouleau triangles. And something pretty cool happens if you put a rail on top. And if you move back and forth, <laughs> notice the rail does not bounce up and down. Wow. It always stays at the same height because it has a constant width. Yeah. Okay? Now, that's cool. But what's even better is if you were to take one of these guys and rotate it in 3D. Okay. Okay? And to make a solid of constant width. All right. I see they have And here. which we printed <laughs> some Excellent. 3D printer solids of constant width. Now, they kind of look like an acorn, right? Go ahead and take one of these. All right. um, they kind of look like an acorn, but what's cool about this is no matter how you rotate it, it always has the same width. It's hard to appreciate in your hands that it's always the same width. Don't drop those. Okay. Those are custom made, man. <laughs> All right, so if we pop them on the table over here, right. we can put a piece of plexiglass on top, put a wine glass on top. Oh, wow. And when we roll those all around, it all stays flat. It all stays at the same height. They should be called Seuss triangles Does for Dr. Seuss. Your mind? That yeah. is so crazy <laughs> that these weird shapes actually maintain a flat surface that roll around. Wow. Wild. So all right. Just some really cool math that comes out of thinking about pi circles, how you can modify a circle into a low triangle. Yeah. Neat stuff. You know, when I think about pi, I just get hungry. So <laughs> that's the difference between the scientist and, and the talking head guy. But let's take you on down to the Science Center because if you want to check out the Imagination Station, pick the brain of the chief scientist here. You can head on down to Little Scientist Week. It actually goes now through March 15th and explore the prehistoric world of dinosaurs still happening we there. We still have the dinosaurs and we have guitars. We got so much stuff going on. Definitely come down today, Saturday, right. 12 and under with an adult, you get in free. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Carl. That is this week's Imagine It and it is Pi Day. Happy Pi Day, everybody. Here's Dave with sports.